Like th this is where everyone, yeah, there's two places where everyone gets it wrong. Number one is here and I'll explain here. And then number two is most just aren't consistent. They'll run an ad for a few days and see what happens. It doesn't work that way, like at all at all. But if, if we are looking to do that, just to test the image and just to see if, okay, how people react to it, then you may wanna maybe run an engagement ad because once you click on that green button and you come here, this right here is where the game happens. Like this is where it all starts. If this part is wrong, everything else, it doesn't matter. You can have the best image, you can have the best video, you can have the best message. But if we don't go with the right objective here, none of that stuff is, is, is gonna matter. So in the form of just testing, you mentioned, let's just run it for a couple of days and see, see how it goes. Then that may be an engagement ad. An engagement ad is, is where Facebook shows it to people who engage. So Facebook knows exactly what you're clicking on. They know exactly the post that you're commenting on. They know exactly what you're sharing. They know you're that type of person. Kev's that type of person to click. So what Facebook ends up doing is they end up showing it to the majority of those types of people who are likely to engage with the post. And that's, that's liking it, sharing it, or commenting on it. Hey, nice picture. Hey, okay, I'll take a consultation. That, that type of engagement stays on Facebook. So, so now you just have to be kind of glued to your phone because you're going to be you're going to be needing to reply to those comments. They're not they're not going to be exactly direct messages, but they'll be comments because you're running an engagement ad. You're going to get people to engage. That's exactly what we're paying for is engagement. So so to test an image, maybe maybe an engagement would be better because anything else for lead capture would be conversions and and that's when the person would have to click and you're taking them to a page. Okay. So so if we're really shooting for, for appointments or consultations, it would be conversions and, and we would need some type of, 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 of landing page to capture the lead and then some type of, of, of calendar to get that person to schedule. Okay. Um, I, I think we, um, we could go with the engagement initially, just again, that's, that's my objective just to see because once we get somewhat of an audience, then we can narrow down the cities and then go from there. What do you think? Well, it's it, audience is for sure what what it's all about is is audience. So there's many ways you can you can find that audience. It doesn't have to be seeing what image pops. It could be it could be it, well if you're yeah if you're not doing video then obviously we're doing image. Then seeing I guess seeing what image is the one that I mean I guess I guess you could run engagement and spend the money just to see just to find what image it is. But at the same time I wouldn't I don't know. I don't know if I would do that for the money spent. I think I would rather just go conversions because again, our whole objective is to capture a lead. Okay. Bottom line, I need someone to enter their name and email, bottom line. And in your case, if you're actually now going for a, cons a consultation, so you're going straight to the appointment, then that's a conversion for sure. That's a conversion ad. So I'd rather just run conversions, test what image works, and then and then and then go from there. But at the same time, with conversions, we're, we're, we need them to click and go somewhere. Okay. So if you don't have that click to go somewhere just yet, if you don't have that web page, if you don't have that calendar, then then just maybe leaving it all on Facebook and 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 getting people to comment from there. And that's engagement. That would be an engagement ad. Um, lead generation. A lot of real estate agents run lead generation. Um, lead generation you don't have to have your own web page you don't have to have your well you do need you do need a, i mean at the end of the day you do need your own web page but but as far as a calendar you you don't need any of that with lead generation lead generation is where you're just using facebook's form um to capture the lead but it's still generating a lead um <clears throat> the only reason why i don't I've do done, that, I've done that before and then yeah you've done lead generation before what would happen it would just come to my gmail account and i'll get an alert when um, yeah someone clicked and submitted the information. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So all I'm saying is that if, if it's all about testing the image, you can, you can do that with conversions and actually capture a lead, but we need, we need an actual, you know, landing page. We need some type of online calendar. Um, but then again, like the whole, the whole strategy from the, from the beginning on what I always try to coach on and teach is, is just one simple topic either we're going to go after buyers or we're going to go after sellers pick one it's not okay. multiple you know um it's one and then and then and then once you narrow down that one now it's about giving away a buyer guide or a seller guide 
not a consultation call. The consultation call happens on the on the back end. So, <clears throat> for example, I, I've showed you this before, but I'm going to just show you again because it's really this basic and really this simple. Um, stop sharing and, and come to my come to my screen real quick. Can you see? Um, can you see my screen? Um, yeah. Okay. Simple page. My whole objective here is to find listings, is to run ads, and 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 give people value regarding selling their house, what it takes to sell. And when they click, they're going to come here. They're going to download a free PDF that I'm giving them, right? So I'm already ahead. I'm giving them up. I'm giving away something of value for free up front before the call, before I ever ask for a phone call, right? So I'm giving you this free PDF. It's on 10 tips on how to raise the value of your home. That person clicks. They opt in. Send me your 10 tips. When they come to this second page, it's all about this, th this, th this second page. This is your money page. When they opt in and download that free seller guide, this is Kev on video. Hey, guys, this is Kevin. Thank you so much for downloading my free 2021 seller guide. In this seller guide, you're going to learn this, 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 and this. So right here, this is a quick 60-second video, four bullet points to hit on. Number one, I'm thanking them. Number two, I'm introducing myself. Number three, I'm telling them to check their email because I just sent them their free PDF. And then number four, I'm telling them to click here to schedule a call. So rather than running an ad on, a, on an image and expecting that person to schedule a consultation call, it's not going to happen that way at all. In this case, at least I bribed them. At least I, at least I enticed them a little bit and, and dangled a carrot in their face and said, hey, download my free seller guide. And then once they do, then I'm freaking bringing out the pit bull in me and I'm going for that call, right? Because it's, it's all about that consultation call. So it's right here. It's right here where that happens. I just captured the lead. Now I'm telling that person to schedule a call. Now, the ones that don't schedule a call, that's when your email autoresponder comes in handy. Like that's that's why the, it's, it's all about a landing page software and an email autoresponder and an online calendar because it's those three major tools. So when these people, the ones that come here that don't schedule a call, that's where they're going to start receiving my automated emails. And so I'll have 15 emails already preset, ready to go out the moment they download this PDF. And those next, those next 15 emails are all designed, written, pre-written, short, you know, emails, nothing crazy, but just, just a few, a few sentences on each email, bringing more value on what it takes to sell. But then also in each email, there's a link to my calendar. Hey, Dave. And by the way, if you'd like to jump on a call, I'd love to talk to you. Click the button below. It'll take you straight to my calendar where you can schedule your best, your best time. Talk to you soon. And that email is going out every other day. Every other day, I'm, I'm, I'm constantly educating them on the topic of selling and going for, the, going for, for, for a call, going for you know, the call to action to schedule a call. That's how, that's how you'd get appointments. That's how you'd get appointments every damn day. Because you're leading with education, you're leading with giving away something of value first for free. That's the whole catch. Okay. So, so it'd be different if you were if you were marketing to an audience that knows you, and then that's why later on. So after you run these types of ads and give away your seller guide, and then you start capturing audiences of everyone that lands on this page. That's our next step is to create audiences. Every page, every page, people that land on the thank you page, people that land on the, the landing page, those are your audiences. So, so for example, that ad is running. I click. I come here, but I don't opt in. That's an audience. The, that's an audience. These are They, they, they land on the web page, but they haven't opted in. So I'm going to take that custom audience. I'm going to tell Facebook, hey, man, here's a link right? Here's a link, Facebook. Anyone who lands on this link, but does not, does not land on this link, put them in an audience and call them web page viewers. Now what I'm going to do in my next ad is I'm going to target them. Oh, I see, so. Follow my ad, right? Correct. Go ahead. What are you going to say? No, I say you're, you're retargeting depending on how far they go in, 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 in the ad. And, and it's just this. It's just here. It's, it's just th these people. So these people that, that, that clicked on my ad, they came here but never opted in. Yes, they're going to continue to see me because now I have this link. I have it in a custom audience. And so here's my point. As I go on to ad number, ad number six, ad number seven and on, 
then I can maybe retarget everyone. Actually, no, I wouldn't even do that. Here, actually, here's, here's who I would retarget. I would retarget these people for sure with future ads. And again, all talking about the same topic. So I'm going to keep putting out more Facebook ads talking about selling. And, and I'm going to retarget those who, who, who land here. But a different Facebook ad, a different Facebook ad is going to be people that landed here but never scheduled a call. So when I go run my next Facebook ad, hey guys, this is Kevin. Thank you so much for opting in and downloading my 2021 seller guide a couple of weeks ago. I noticed you haven't scheduled a call and I wanted to kind of just, you know, fill in the blanks and kind of give you my two cents on selling. And, and again, you know, hopefully we could talk soon. That's a specific ad that I can now run to everyone who landed here, but hasn't scheduled a call. And now with that ad, I can go straight for an appointment. So exactly how you were thinking, you know, a few minutes ago, let's run an ad and try to get a, a consultation. No, those people that would get that type of an ad that are more likely to schedule a call with you six weeks later, or yeah, people that landed here six, six weeks ago, and now they're getting your emails. And now they start seeing another ad. Hey guys, schedule a call. Hey guys, schedule a call. Hey guys, schedule a call. Because now you're retargeting an audience that freaking knows you. That's when you can go straight for the appointment. Because okay. they know you, right? They 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 landed here. Because you gave them something for free. Now they've been getting your emails for the past, you know, freaking three weeks. Now they're seeing a whole new ad from Kev in the news feed talking about scheduling a consultation call. That's when you go for the call, you know. But 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 that's the back. That's the back end. That's the back of the funnel. That's when we have a warm audience. In the beginning, ain't no one know us. So I got to give you something for free. I got to entice you. I got to start building up the audience of those who are landing on this page because not everyone's going to opt in. So everyone that lands here, at least they landed here. At least they got this far. So I need, I need to run a few ads to build up this audience because if, if, it's, not, if it's not building up an audience of those landing on a web page, then it's building up an audience of those who are watching your videos. But if you're not running video ads and now we're going to engagement, then okay, then it's, 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 it's creating an audience of everyone who engages in the post. But then again, we, we need to take them somewhere after they click, you know, after they click, they, they have to, they have to come to a page. Um, if we're looking to capture leads, you know, um, okay, but so, again, so what do I need to do? So it, it comes down to landing page software, man. Like it comes down to landing page software. Okay. So we need, we need landing page software. Um, majority of them run about a hundred bucks a month. And I tell people all the time, you know, you only need it if you're really going to be running Facebook ads. Like if you're really going to be running Facebook ads, then it'll pay for itself. But if you're kind of running an ad here and there, then obviously a hundred bucks a month would seem like a huge investment. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, but when you look at any, when you look at any, like, let me go to any random ad. Like when you go to any, when you look at any ad and you click, nine out of 10 of them are taking you to a web page, to some type of landing page. And it's not even a website. It's a web page. It's one page, you know, with one button and one call to action. Like I'll mm -hmm. click on any of these ads, everyone. So that's kind of just the next, the next step on, on running ads. Like this guy right here, Dan Henry sponsored. I click on learn more. There's the video. So he's capturing two audiences. This right here, this is a 30 second, 32 second video. 32 second video. I don't know why it won't play, but. Oh, that's weird. But it's a 32 second video. He's capturing an audience of me watching it. And then he's also catching an audience of those coming to this one page, one button. That's all there is. There's nothing else. I can't scroll up. I can't scroll down. Up here, he has his Facebook pixel tracking. In fact, he has three pixels tracking. So he's capturing an audience of those who watched the video. He's capturing an audience of those who landed here. Now, because I'm not going to hit start and I'm not going to continue and go through this, this mm -hmm. um, questions, because I'm not going to go through the start, I'll see another ad from him. You know? So... So that's, that's as basic as it gets is, 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 is putting this in your, in, in your business where those are your audiences, audience, number one, the video watchers, and then audience number two, those who land here, but don't opt in those two audiences, man, you can keep getting in front of, 
And again, after you retarget them a few times, then you can go straight for the appointment. But, <clears throat> but the best way, man, is to, is to focus on one topic and give them a free guide. Start. Okay, so, so we're going to focus on the um, listings, the seller guide. So um, again, what do we need to do? So what I would suggest first is all, do you have a seller guide or do you want me to send you some examples? Uh, you can uh, send me some examples. We, we have something with the company I work with, but um, I can take a look at it as long as it's, it's kind of in line. I mean, obviously it's just a guide. It's not. Yeah. Um, That's all it is, man. It could be a, it could be a couple pages. It could be a one page PDF. I'll send you some where they're a little longer, you know, 10 page. Like I got a m many clients and everyone sends me their seller guide but I have a few I can send you and, and all it takes is rebranding it to you, putting your headshot, putting your contact information. And that becomes your bait. That okay. becomes your bait. You know, no one comes into Kez world unless they're coming in through his funnel, unless they're downloading his seller guide. Those okay. are the only people that come into your world on social okay. media. What about the uh, landing page? The landing page software it comes with a 14 day trial, the one that I recommend. And the only reason why I recommend it is because again, the majority of these softwares run about a hundred bucks a month and it's just the landing page. Then you got to go get an email autoresponder. Then you got to go get a calendar. The one that I recommend is the same price. I think it's like 99 bucks a month and it's all three. It's the landing page. It's the email autoresponder and it's the online calendar. And at the same time, you get me to coach you on all of it. Like I teach on all of it. I host uh, group coaching calls every Monday and Wednesday. The company holds a, holds a coaching call, a Q and a every Tuesday and Thursday, every call is at 1 PM Pacific, but, and, and I have a ton of these funnels already done for you. So, okay. so I can send you a listing funnel, a, a buyer guide funnel, a, a seller guide funnel. I have, I have all these funnels. Like I have a, you know, you're running an ad on a listing. They click, they come here, get instant access to the price and photos of this property. Homes in this market move extremely fast. A few bullet points, view all 17 photos now. That's how you capture lead. Then that person opts in. Then they, then they end up coming to this thank you page. Thank you for your interest. Hey, guys, thank you so much for inquiring on 777 Plaza Boulevard. My name is Kevin. I am the listing agent of this beautiful home. Let me tell you a little bit more about it. And also check your email because I just emailed you all the details regarding this property. And, and trust me, you're not going to want to want to miss out. This property will sell fast. So if you guys are actively looking and you're on the market right now, click the button below. It will take you straight to my calendar where you can schedule your best call, best time. You know, so, and again, same strategy. So, so they just opted in for a listing. I asked for only name and email. I, I took them here. They're scheduling a call here. And those that don't schedule a call here, just like the other strategy, these leads are now, they'll, they'll now start getting emails. And those next five, six, seven emails are all creating urgency regarding this specific listing and getting that person to schedule a call. My calendar link is in each email. And the email is already created in um, Kartra. The yes, bro. Yes, yes. I have, I, I'm the one that created them, but you, you could just, you know, edit, like all this stuff is edit. Like you could edit all this stuff, the image, the freaking headline, the, the color of the button, the logo, all this stuff, you can edit all of it. But I'm just saying that the support is, is, is ridiculous. And you got me to help you with all of it. I got a, all these damn funnels. I'm going to just give you. Um, and it comes, <clears throat> excuse me. And it comes with a 14 day trial. So okay. I wouldn't activate the 14 day trial just yet. I would, if I were you, I would, I would simply narrow down your seller guide. I'm going to email you some seller guides. Let's get on the horn about creating a seller guide. That's what it's all about, bro. Is, is a seller guide. Okay. Um, images will work too, but now let's focus on one, not buying or selling. It's one or the other. All right. You know, and, 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 and two reasons why, two reasons why, even though you, you, you'll take, and, and, and as leads come in, you, you know, this firsthand, man, you might have a client, you know, talking about coming to you, talking about what it takes to short sell. And all of a sudden you guys break bread and get along and they refer you their freaking cousin. Who's looking a first time buy. Like yeah. that happens all the time. So, so with us focusing on one topic, yes, that's the audience we're going for. But once I get that lead, who knows who they end up referring me to? You know yeah. what I mean? So, so look at it that way. You're going to still be able to operate your business how you do. But, but two reasons why I want you to focus on one topic. Number one, it makes it easier for you to create the content. Whether it's an image or a video, you're talking about one damn thing. I'm going to start educating people on what it takes to sell. That's one topic, selling. Right. That's number one. And then number two, as you start to run ads, 
Facebook starts to find that audience faster because they know you're only looking for one type of person. You're not looking for all types of different people that, that want to know everything about real estate. In real estate, it's very complex. There's all kinds of shit to talk about in real estate. Mm -hmm. But in this case, I'm telling Facebook, no, man, I'm not looking for those talking about bankruptcy or short sell or forbearance or buying or sell. I'm looking for one. Find me these people that are looking to sell. And, and I'm going to know that by them raising their hand and downloading my seller guide. Right. So very narrow, very specific. And that's when we just come in and we start running conversion ads to capture leads. We ran the like ad. Um, we haven't done an intro video video ad yet. Right. Uh, yeah, that's that's my next plan. Yeah. Okay, so that should be that should be the next one, bro. Like that should be the next one. It's just simply introduce. Uh, can you, you do you have samples of like what other agents did so I can get an idea? Yes, bro. Yes, I'm gonna send you that. So I'll send you a handful of of intro videos and I'll send you the seller guides. But but I would highly recommend the intro video first. That's where we should be at. You should. Let me ask, let me ask you a question. Uh, I've noticed on YouTube, like some people that create videos put a, a light or a camera at the top of their uh, laptop and they create the video right on their system. Is that something that you would recommend or, um, cause I do use my phone, but it's not the greatest quality, but um, I want to become consistent at it. Like, like, like you're saying every Monday, yes, you man. Something every Friday, Monday and Friday is actually uh, but I want to find a medium where it's, uh, it's, it's done consistently. So yes, that, and, and you can, you could do it however you want. You could do it inside. You could do it outside. You could do it on your camera phone. Like you could do it on your computer, like however, however you want to do it, man, you can, you can do it. Um, I record a lot on my, on my computer. So I have like a little webcam that I got from Amazon for like, I think I got it for like 25 bucks. That's, that's what I was asking. Like something yeah. simple where yeah. if, if I if I have a spontaneous idea, I just hop on the horn, make a quick video, and then it yes, goes yes. up. You know? Yes, that that's as simple as you want to keep it, man. Keep it that simple. Um, that's all it takes. And 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 one weekly video, Kev, regarding selling, what it takes to sell. That's it. That's it. That's it. A quick little tip. And at the end of that video, hey guys, and by the way, I put together a 2021 seller guide. That's going to give you all the ins and outs on what it takes to sell in today's market. Click learn more. It'll take you straight to my webpage where you can download your free copy. Yeah. Actually, what I was thinking also, um, send me more information about the camera that you use and how to set it up, if you will. But let's the, what? The, the camera that you bought on Amazon. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, okay. So, for example, let's say we, when we get the audience every Monday, I come on. It's like the, I give like a news update for the week. Yes, okay. bro. Guess, guess what happened last week? X amount of condos sold for like this price. If, you think, if you're still thinking about selling, just, just every week give them a little nugget um, just to become familiar with myself. You know, so. Kev, that's as simple as it gets, bro, and as, if, and as effective as it gets. If you can literally do that, man, if you could put out a video every Monday and it's an ad, we're running it to your local area as an ad. You're giving them a weekly update regarding selling and call to action, click learn more to download my seller guide. If you can keep it that freaking simple, bro, you would crush it. You would crush it. Okay. You would crush it. You would crush it. It's that simple. It's that simple. And, and so now in that case, what we do is we go conversions and we and we capture leads. That's what it's all about. It's conversions. And that's the whole difference over here. You know, brand awareness, reach, that's kind of just just leaving leaving the 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 traffic and the engagement on Facebook just like an engagement ad same thing even with the video ad video view same thing with lead generation messages it's keeping keeping people on Facebook um but if I'm trying to get them off of Facebook and I need to need them to get to a form to enter their name and email that's when I'm either running traffic or conversions but it's it's nine out of ten times it's it's conversions so that's where everyone looking to capture a lead or make a sell. That's, that's what we run. We run conversions. So okay. in your case, man, the, the first one that I would highly, highly recommend is, is an intro video. If you're up for it, I'll send you some examples. Um, very, very simple, man, but that's how you warm up your audience. So rather than running the, the image ad and seeing what, you know, what audience inter interacts or engages with which image, just do it of yourself, man. And okay. find your audience. 
right? Sure. Like out of the hundreds and hundreds of thousands of people in that area, not everyone's going to care about Kev, but the, the small people that the percentage of people that do, I just need a small percentage. I don't need all of them. Give me 1%. Give me 1%. Yeah. Give me one percent. We're just looking for people that want to work with us, and and then it's ready to some extent, you know. Because uh, we yeah. will we will educate along the process for them to make that decision. Yes, man. But but it starts at the top of the funnel with the content, and 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 just the simple message. And again, giving them something of of value up front for free. That's okay. it. That's it. So. The video views, that should be your first your first one. The first one was the like ad. That was engagement. Now, now the second one I highly recommend if you're up for it. You don't have to, but it's just if you're up for it, that next one would be video views, and we would run it as an intro video. That's okay. how you find your, your warm audience. Yeah, so please send me samples so I see what other age, just to get an idea. For sure. And then um, the seller guide so I can modify it. Yes, and, and once, once you modify it, I would highly suggest intro video first, running that ASAP, ASAP, running an intro video ASAP. And then after that, while it's running, knocking out a seller guide. And then once you have that seller guide, that's when we activate our 14 day trial and start running ads to capture leads. Okay. Very good. Okay. So in that order, man, I would highly recommend. So I'll email you two different emails here when we're off, um, intro videos of clients and then and then a few seller guides that you can get an example from okay cool and then let's chat asap kev let's get this thing rocking and rolling man all right well, I'll, um i'll get it done over the weekend and then um we'll touch base on monday sounds good boss talk to you soon have a great one all right thanks bye-bye